hey, it's great, just what you're, just what I wanted, a, a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon, you know, wait a second, it's red? I wanted the white Sauvignon. Why is it red? Houston, we have a problem. I'm going to fix it. Hi, my name is Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier and a senior wine and spirits specialist here at ABC Fine Wines and Spirits, Sunrise, Florida. Yes, people just say, give me a Sauvignon, and we spend an hour talking about Cabernet Sauvignon, and they mean the white one. There's the other Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, which, by the way, there's a grape called Cabernet Franc, which we've talked about before, F-R-A-N-C. You took the two seeds, the red seedling, uh, and hybrid it, Cabernet Franc with Sauvignon Blanc. That's how Cabernet Sauvignon was invented, just a little trivia there. But yes, we get asked about all grapes, but mostly Sauvignon Blanc more than anything else. They go, where is your Sauvignon Blanc section? That in any retailer or on any restaurant menu is not an easy answer because there are so many countries that make different styles of the grape Sauvignon Blanc. And we're going to go over that differences. So, yes, we have, if you just want everything American, Pinot Noir, Pinot Grigio, but even Sauvignon Blanc especially, yeah, we have an American Sauvignon Blanc, but that leaves out all the other countries, Chile, France, uh, Italy, everybody makes Sauvignon Blanc and all in different styles. First, I want to go over the really popular one, New Zealand. Marlborough County, New Zealand is known for their Sauvignon Blanc, but they're also known for a particular style. We call it G and G, grass and grapefruit. Take a blade of grass out of your lawn, squirt grapefruit juice on it. That's how I train other sommeliers how to identify New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Grass and grapefruit, sharp acidity, okay? Uh, one that really broke the ground, I think, for Sauvignon Blanc, and especially for me from New Zealand, was the famous Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. <clears throat> great, uh, great, great wine. For years it was making the Wine Spectator top 10 or top 20 wines of the year. Um, I'd say a few years ago, Constellation Brands, who owns 143 different labels like Mayomi, Claude de Bois, Rufino, on and on and on, they purchased the label of, um, uh, of Kim Crawford uh, for $275 million, I believe was the asking price. Uh, product from New Zealand, uh, imported by Constellation in California. And the product, some people buy it by name brand recognition. A lot of people buy it, actually, probably the most popular Sauvignon Blanc. But the style that it was known for, because it wasn't just grass and grapefruit, has now gone back to grass and grapefruit. And, believe it or not, the first winemaker that Mr. Kim Crawford, yes, it's a guy Kim Crawford hired in the year 2000 that made it so famous with a little bit tropical notes of passion fruit guava, was the lovely lady, Jules Taylor. And Jules Taylor basically went on their own, quit Kim Crawford when Constellation took over, actually a little bit before that. And Jules Taylor in Marlboro County, especially the 2016 and 17 that I've tasted, taste exactly when she was making, I guess she follows the same recipe. Remember we talked, you can have great grapes, great terroir, great brand names that you know, but the winemaker really is makes the final difference. You lose your winemaker, you're probably going to lose your favorite brand of wine. It doesn't taste the same, at least. It's the next winemaker who takes over its expression. So Jules is making the wine with the same exact formula that she used to make uh, Kim Crawford's wine for all those years. It has a little bit of guava. Sure, it's got the pink grapefruit, it's got a little bit of passion fruit, but more tropical flavor. $14.99, the Kim Crawford's $12.98. Uh, it's excluded from ABC discounts because it ends in an 8, and uh, our 10 off 100 deal, uh, anything marked in an 8, it doesn't count towards any coupons or any further discounts. So this is a great buy, and it'll bring back memory to when Jules was making wine for the famous Kim Crawford that you see everywhere on the market. Bordeaux, France. Bordeaux, France, we think of red wine, all the, all the red Bordeaux, but there's only a total of five red grapes that make Bordeaux and uh, in, in Bordeaux region, and white there are three, and mostly two are used, but the one that is most popularly used is Sauvignon Blanc. So now we go to France. Again, not just a, we have New Zealand, that's in a different section, and France, different in section. This is Mikel Lynch, this is a Bordeaux. They happen to be using 100% Sauvignon Blanc. It's gonna be crisp, it's not gonna be as grapefruity, it's gonna have more minerality coming from Bordeaux. This is white Bordeaux, even tells you on the label, uh, I believe that it does around the back, let's say here, actually both sides on the front, Sauvignon Blanc. So it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc, but they could use Semillon 
but this one, 100% Sauvignon Blanc, different, totally different animal than the New Zealand style, even the Jules Taylor with that passion fruit and guava. Sancerre, there's in the Loire Valley, we've talked about Sancerre and Puy Fume, those are villages. They're always 100% Sauvignon Blanc, totally clean. This is the Nicholas of the Art Sancerre, we're talking about <clears throat> $21.99 a bottle from the region of Sancerre, one of the classic Sauvignon Blanc. Different expressions than both New Zealand, different than white Bordeaux. This, some people say, is Sancerre or Puy Fume could be textbook Sauvignon Blanc if that's your style. So, I like Sancerre, I love French Sauvignon Blanc. See, that would be in the French section under the Loire Valley, and the Bordeaux would be under Bordeaux. There's just not a Sauvignon Blanc section. And if you were coming in here thinking in Cabernet Sauvignon with Sauvignon Blanc, totally the wrong section. South of France, Cote de Gascon, got George Vigereau making a Sauvignon Blanc for $8.99. A little bit of a soft lychee fruit here, nothing sweet but light and crisp from the Pyrenees Mountains for $8.99. That would be in the south of France. Totally different expression. Then we get to our country. God bless America, right? We have uh, named after Jackie Bales, the founder of ABC. Uh, uh, Jackie Bales, made by Gerard Winery. We have a Napa Valley version of Sauvignon Blanc. Not 100% Sauvignon Blanc, but also it's got a little bit more tropical notes you'll find on American Sauvignon Blanc. I like the California styles. It's really good if you like more tropical fruits and, and, and mangoes and things like that going on there, and peaches and pineapple. It's not sweet, but more tropical fruits uh, is going to come out of Napa Valley. They're probably blending other grapes in there. Made by Gerard, $14.99. And last but not least, Captain Washington has to talk about one of his faves, from Bergevin Lane, Annette Bergevin, Amber Lane. The Linen Sauvignon Blanc, I like this because it's probably not 100% Sauvignon Blanc, but even if it is, it's mostly like all Sauvignon Blancs, or stainless steel fermented for that crisp, you know, clean taste, but they also do a little bit of oak barrel aging to give it a little bit more of a creamy texture. This one has white peach, a little bit of kiwi. I like the flavor, very refreshing, and also a different mouthfeel. $12.99, the linen, it's, it's soft like linen. That's why I love this Washington State Sauvignon Blanc for $12.99. So if, if you want any other further information, <clears throat> you can look up any of these wines on our website at www.abcfws.com or contact me through the website, become a blog follower getting a lot of followers lately who are telling other people about that. Just put your name in there and you'll find out many ways to contact me. Remember, number one, Cabernet Sauvignon is the red one, Sauvignon Blanc is the white one. And number two, as we always say, wine is not for snobs, it's for everyday people like you and me. And let's talk about the other Sauvignon.